Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. Well, last time we uh, managed to refill the lake uh, after defeating Pazuzu and restoring the uh, Sky Crystal there. We also got the Mobius Crest, which will allow us to um, to get to the ship docked so we can keep looking for Captain Mac. But, uh, and the lake's beautiful as ever, but we're not quite sure how to get there, so let's see if we can find out how to get to the ship today. By the way, look at Windia now with all the, the water underneath. It looks really nice. I like that. Yay, the world is saved! Well, that's what I thought too, but apparently we have more to do. Oh, yeah, well, we're glad to help there. So let's explore the little a town a little bit more. Now that we've got uh, everything up and running. That lady will sell you some seeds if you need some. I happen to be good to go on seeds. Let's see what this guy has to say. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. There we go. Has Captain Matt come back? Well, no, not yet. We do have his cap, though. How did he get all the way over there, anyway? Did he have a Dragon's Claw, too? And if so, how come I, he didn't give it to me? Also, uh, if you want to leave the town, you can also go up that way through the Rainbow Road there. Uh, just like that. See? So that's how you can exit the town from the north there. In case you're interested, but it doesn't really matter. Okay. So now what we want to do is we want to head to this house here because there was a guy in here that said something about the Mobius Crest, and now we have it. So let's see what this guy has to say about that. Yeah, we got the Mobius Crest, and now apparently we can reach the ship dock from here. Well, how do we do that? Well, it's very simple. If we go down these stairs... We see the Mobius Crest symbol, and after taking these boxes, we step there and, all right, we warp to the ship dock. Awesome. And that must be the ship. How come the ship is just as big as me? I don't quite understand this. I was hoping some there'd be some big, you know, gigantic ship, like in uh, Illusion of Gaia or something. Well, you push the A button, and now we're back on the deck. And if you leave, by the way, this takes you to the world map, and we can't go north yet, but anyway... So that's how that works, in case you're interested. All right, let's uh, start looking for Captain Mac. Okay, and now we're here. Now, they said that there was monsters on the deck, and sure enough, there they are. And the enemies are just like um, they were in the previous area, so I don't believe we run into any new enemies here. So, okay, now we're going to want to go here. Yep, here's some, of these, here's some of the enemies from before, but I'll show you what Ruben can do. Uh, now that he's, he's back on our team, show him why he is seriously a downgrade uh, from before. Again, the only thing that kind of makes him cool is he has the white magic, and we'll see how powerful that is here in just a minute. Well, we can't do it in this battle because of the uh, Beholder. He's, uh, of course, weak. Or he's, of course, um, uh, it will repel the magic, so. But yeah, I mean, Kaylee's Giant Axe does more damage than the, uh, the Ruben's Morning Star, so this kind of sucks. Oh, well, what can you do? Uh, oh, well, I guess they're trying to make it challenging for us, so... Okay, now you might be wondering why, in fact, we defeated that monster. Because, hey, we can push that barrel. All right. And we'll take these heal potions. Very good. And now we can climb up here. And I believe we're going to want to go... Can we go this way? Yeah. But off to a dead end. So we don't want to go there quite yet. See, we can move all the way around the ship. This is pretty neat. We can bypass those enemies... And now we're going to want to head down here. Oh, we can't bypass the enemies. All right, now we're going to head up here. We take these heal potions, go underneath the mast of the ship, and down the stairs. Very good. Now we can head down here, and all right, now we're deep into Matt's ship. <laughs> Does that sound kind of dirty? I don't know. Anyways, uh, from here, we're going to want to... Uh, Take out these guys, and I'll show you what uh, how powerful Ruben's magic is. It's really not that strong, um, but I'll show it to you just for completion. See, he's only does 690 damage. I guess it's okay. No, get me wrong. It's better than what he had before, but still not great. Okay, now we're gonna head up these stairs, and I believe we want to go. My guess is, yeah, this way. We don't really care about those. There's just some refreshers there. Uh, okay. Now we're down here on the second floor. Take out this guy. All right, now we got another new enemy. Well, it's an enemy we've seen before, but um, now we get to face it more one-on-one -on -one like. You know, before it was just grouped with a big group of enemies. This is the Shadow. It's actually weak to Thunder, but um, we should be able to take, uh, or at least, oh yeah, he's weak to Wind too, so, whoa. Man, that sucks. That's not how I envisioned uh, this going here, but that's okay. Uh, let's see, so it's and then White. Yeah, we have plenty of seeds, so... I would just say, pretty much use Ruben's white magic 
every time you get a chance here, just because it just, it'll just make this area a lot easier. And we have seats. Ooh, good amount of experience. I like that. All right, and just like that, we are done with Max Ship. Oh, that was easy. Now we'll go over here, and we get Gaia's Armor. Let's check this out. Hopefully. Oh, wow, look at that. I now have protection against wind, against sleep, against poison and water. Yeah, I'm doing real good. Check that out. Yeah, I pretty much have protection against almost every elemental defense and special attack. So this is going very, very, very well. So, yeah, that's a quick little, uh, quick little uh, dungeon there. And now we talk to this guy. And this must be Captain Mac, because that's his captain's cap. You doing okay, buddy? And then Kaylee followed us. Man, why did you be on our team the whole time? You're much better than that jackass Reuben. The Dark King and the Prophecy? What are you talking about? Yeah, I'm confused. Yeah, let's cure your wounds of Windy, and then we'll figure out what's going on with this prophecy. But, but... That's right, the daughter ordering around the dad. Reuben! Oh. <laughs> Conveniently, he hasn't recovered from the fall off the bridge. Let's go to Windu and put you to bed, young man. You've been a bad boy. Hey. What? I thought we were going to Windia. Hey, there's Spencer, and there's our boy Tristam. I always love when this music plays. Yeah, we, we, we've already been over this. Oh, and she now Phoebe needs to see us. Okay. Right. The name is Benjamin, you toad. I'm so confused. I have no idea what's going on. Okay, well, anyways, we're back here. Uh, let's see. Well, I guess they said that Phoebe's in the inn. So let's go visit her. Now we actually want to go to the inn. Before I was messing all that up. So, alright. Let's go to the inn here. And there's Phoebe. What's up, Phoebe? You doing okay? Yeah, we know Ruben's hurt. Ugh! He's really not feeling good. He must have, uh, he must be getting some allergies or something. Or maybe one of the, uh, monsters sneezed on him or something. You gonna be okay there, Chief? Alright. We need to hear Max news. We're not gonna like it. All right, but we got Phoebe back on our team. What the heck did she possibly want? All right, well, let's check out how Phoebe's stats are. Whoa, yeah, look at those spell charges. I can tell already we're going to be in good shape here. Um, all right, let's check out her stats. And Yeah, her attack power isn't great because she's still got that bow of grace, but look at her magic. Wow, it's up to 94. Let's check out some of her spells. Yeah, she's got white magic now, and... Yeah, she's pretty much going to be the magician for the rest of the game. There's no doubt about that. We're going to use flare and white the whole time. We're going to be in good shape. Okay, well, let's head up here. Apparently, Max upstairs, or yeah, Max upstairs. Oh, good. Well, that'll be that'll be nice then. Ouch! Don't touch me, man. You wuss. Can't stand a little pain, you little baby. Well, anyways, let's see what Captain Mac has to say. Yeah, what's up? What's up, bud? A lost part of the prophecy. What are you talking about? The one behind the four is darker than the night and rises midst the land. Ooh, that sounds eerie. Oh, the real enemy is the Dark King. Okay. Wow, we better take this guy out. Okay, well, we can use Max ship to get there. All right. Fair enough. Let's go do that. Man, the Dark King. That's, um... I'm not going to lie to you, BCS Universe. That's really a crappy name for the last boss. The Dark King. You know, if this, if this doesn't sound too menacing, right? Or, or as cool, like, you know, Sephiroth or something. Now, that was a cool name. Alright, well, anyways, we need to, uh, get on Captain Mac's ship and try and reach the, uh, Focus Tower. Alright, apparently, some miraculous way, the ship's been cleared of monsters. I wonder how that is. Well, let's steer this ship. Alright, now we get to travel over, and... Ooh. Nice job there, team. And Ooh, there's a secret entrance. I didn't notice this entrance. All right, well, let's get out of here and head into the Focus Tower, then. Very good. But now we're in Doom Castle, not the Focus Tower. What the heck are we possibly going to be able to do here? You're going to have to wait till the next episode to find out. Until then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Take care, y'all.